Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today I'm going to introduce you to our new text editor update. The new features of this update include custom line height and letter spacing, text shadows, multiple header styles supported in a single text box, as well as the ability to save custom colors into the color picker. Now, if you don't see this updated text editor, just click the update text editor button on the left side of the editor itself. This will update you to the new text editor and old instances of the text widget can be updated or left as is. The first feature we're going to take a look at here is how to add a text shadow. So all we have to do is select our text, come up to the more option, locate the text shadow option, enable this, select our color, click confirm on the text editor, and now we have our text shadow. Let's go ahead and scroll down here a bit and locate the text on the left hand side. Now another new feature that we're going to take a look at right now is how to combine headers and paragraphs within the same text widget. So all we have to do is bring up the text editor. We can highlight the text that we want to change, come up to styles. From this drop down list, we'll see we have our paragraph and then we have our various heading options. So we'll set this to a header one, come down to roots, we'll grab that, back up the styles, set that to a header two, hit confirm, and now we have an H1, a paragraph, an H2, and a paragraph, all within the same text widget. So next, what we want to do is take a look at another new feature that we have, which is the line height feature. More specifically, the custom line height. So we can go ahead and grab this text. We can come up here to line height. Bringing this drop down, we see we have an auto, single, half, and double, which are normal, but now we have this custom slider. And with this, we can go ahead and slide this to the right and expand that line height. We can slide this to the left and shrink that line height as well. But for this, I think we want to put it at about 1.8. And then we can come down to this text down here as well and mimic that change here. We can just type this directly into the box. And now we have a little bit more spacing on that text. We also have another new feature called custom letter spacing. So if we want to go back and grab that text again, come up to this more option, we'll see just above the text shadow, we have a letter spacing option. If we select this drop down, we see we have an auto narrow and wide preset. And then we also have a custom slider. As with the line height, if we slide to the right, that will increase. If we slide to the left, that will decrease. However, I think that we can go with a 0.1 and then we can come down here, grab this text, custom 0.1 as well. And we can hit confirm. And now we have our text nice and styled. And if we come down to this very last option down here, we see that we have this hyperlinked text. Now I want to make this text bolder. So another new feature that we have is if we come up to our fonts panel and we drop down the font and we hover over our font, we'll see we have this flyout panel that has the various font weights. Now you have a visual representation of how that text will look in each font weight. So I want to come down and select the boldest font and hit confirm. Now we have our text styled and adjusted how we want it. So the last feature we'll cover is actually a builder wide update, but it applies very directly to the text editor and that's the ability to save colors. So if we wanted to grab this text right here, and we want to come into the color panel, we see that we have our recent colors, which is what we're familiar with, and this will automatically update as you select new colors from this color picker. However, to the left of that, we have our saved colors option, and now we have the option to hit this little plus symbol, and now we can add this color to our color picker. If we come down to this text, we go back into our color option. We can hit the little plus symbol here as well. And if we wanted to grab a specific color, if we wanted to grab, say, this yellow color right here, 
we can do that from the color picker hit the plus sign and now if we come up to this text up here we can grab this text go to our saved colors select our color hit confirm and now we can see our color is active very difficult to see so we're just going to go ahead and set this back to white hit confirm and now we're good to go and that's going to do it for our quick overview of the new text editor update we hope this was helpful and as always if you have any questions feel free to reach out to support we're always here to help